let's put the script here tonight. You know, a beer in, a glass of wine in, two glasses of wine, two beers, a shot. It really doesn't matter. You know, let's be truthful. I got like one and a half glasses of wine into this here tonight. But it allows me to be able to tap into a perspective that I've been talking about with Veronica and I just talked about with a really good friend of mine tonight. It's bravery. What does bravery really mean? How do you tap into bravery? When you look into somebody else's eyes, and this is the reason why I decided to put this on video tonight instead of just audio. What does bravery really mean to you? How do you access bravery? Bravery at all costs. Bravery when you really need it. Bravery. Now, bravery is directly connected with your ethics. Bravery directly connected with your morals. Bravery is directly in connected with your integrity. Bravery. When you get up out of bed every single morning, when you have the opportunity to be able to stand on your two feet, when you have the opportunity to be able to breathe, do you have the integrity and the bravery to be able to understand who you are? And who you are isn't the facade that you want to convince yourself who you are. It's really who you are. It's the intuition inside you. It's the person inside you that says, this is the real me. This is who I am. This is me right now. This is me every single day. This is me when I'm starving to death to be able to be let out, to be nurtured, to be fed. Be brave. Right now, you have the opportunity to understand this bravery. Like, which side of the fence do you stand on in COVID-19? Do you stand on the side of the people who want to be able to sit at home every day? Or do you want to stand on the side of the people who say, let me be me. Let me get back out. Now, you can sound both sides. That both sides are a very valid point. Both sides can be heavily criticized by the other side. But where do you stand and how do you stand? Do you flip-flop? Do you stay at home because it feels like the right thing, but you bitch to your friends and your family that we should all be let out? Or do you let yourself out and do you participate with the other people who are out? Or do you isolate yourself at home and praise that the government has told us to be able to stay at home because you want to be able to stay at home and you're at home with all the other people who stay at home? Which side do you stand on? Now, I don't know what side you stand on and whatever side you stand on is fine. But you need to be brave about that moment. You need to be brave about that decision because I know a side I stand on, which has nothing to do with you, which is the whole point behind We Are I, because the whole point behind We Are I is directly connected and linked to not one person should ever be on the pedestal, not one person should ever take the cloud, not one person should ever be that person that everybody looks up to because that's just not right. What is right is that you understand how and what it takes to be able to be brave because you need to be able to be brave right now you need to be able to be brave tomorrow you need to be able to be brave at all costs all the time for you because you're not being brave don't label that in the face of that you're doing it for your kids or for somebody else because this is what life mandates of you because this is what you mandate of yourself so let me tell you a little story a little narrative of every time that i go through this with my daughter my oldest daughter my eight-year-old so when we roughhouse, her and I, I'm like, let's get down. Take me down. Put me down. I'm your dad. I'm a 36-year-old man. You're an 8-year-old girl. Put me down. Be brave. Right now, be brave. This is your chance. Be brave. No matter what happens, no matter what happens between E and B, I will never hold this against you, but be brave. I've pissed you off. I know you have. I'm your dad. You're an 8-year-old girl. I've made you mad. I know I have. I'm okay with that. It's okay. I get that. I understand that. I'm I'm a realist like that. I get it. Put me down. Take me down. You're not going to hurt me. This is a chance. Be brave. Because I understand this bravery right now. If you understand what it takes to be able to be brave right now, it'll take, it'll manifest that perspective inside your body that when you get older, that mindset of being brave is going to give you the opportunity to really be brave. When you're older, when you understand what bravery really really means and what it really takes to be brave, this is it. Because being brave is who you are, is what you are, is every narrative inside of your, your mind, your body, your cells. It's everything. Being brave is you. Being brave is you, the person that you are. So when I challenge her like that and we're just playing around, Take me down. Like, what do you think? What does your mind say? 
stack pillows on top of me and jump off the couch, put me down, grab me in the arm bar, twist up my leg, grab me by the throat, I don't care. Bring it all. I can take it all. Like, no matter what you do, it's not going to hurt me. But the thing is, you're willing to think outside the box. You're willing to be able to challenge yourself. You're willing to think that this is my dad. Does he really mean this? Yes. Yes, I do. Because I know enough. I know enough that this is planting those seeds in your mind. You're like, how can I figure this out? How can I figure this out? How can I be brave enough in a situation where I kind of feel like I shouldn't be? Everything, all the eight years that I've lived up into my life right now has told me that maybe when this man talks, maybe when this man speaks, that maybe like I shouldn't do this right now. Now, this has nothing to do with disrespect. This has everything to do with I've challenged her. I want her to be brave. I want to be able to pick her up, put her into this world and say, world, watch out. You are not ready for this person. You are not ready for this girl who's about to take on life. You're not. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that you are not ready for what she has to offer. Because she's going to take life. She's going to take every situation that she has and she's going to grab it. And she's going to shake it a little bit. And see what falls out. She's going to be like, okay. Hmm. I understand that. She's going to shake it a little bit more. She's going to be like, hmm. What else fell out? Hmm. I understand that. She's going to pull her shoulders back. She's going to take a little bit of a breath. And she's like, you know what? I'm brave. I'm brave. Because I have morals. I have integrity. I know what it takes to be able to be brave. Being brave is knowing exactly where you stand. At every single point of every single day. Being brave is knowing that when you are being challenged your most, it means the most to be brave. That no matter at all costs, when anybody, when everybody, when the whole world thinks you are wrong, as small as that world is, you can be brave. Now let me tell you this. When you look at somebody like Nelson Mandela, not that any of us deserve to be able to be put in that same category. In his world at his time when he's locked in this jail cell, How often do you think that his bravery was tested? That he thought that he was wrong? Did it let him falter? Did he decide not to be brave? No, not a chance. So why should you? On your skill, on our skill, on everybody's skill, on the skill that only matters. Because you might not be able to change the world. That might not be your goal. That's fine. But your goal is personal integrity. That takes bravery. Every day. Every single day. To be you. To be authentically you. To be able to posture a position. That's what it takes. And that's what he did. So this is why. That this is a video tonight. And not just a podcast. Because bravery takes a face. Bravery takes a face. Remember, your face is the face of bravery. And I respect that. Peace out.